And if you know that, then why don't you do what I did up in Augusta County and just file a suit against the court clerk for interfering with your right to access the court? Why didn't you just, why didn't you just make a claim? It takes two seconds. It was funny. When I did it up in Augusta County, um, we had to do a precipice day, which is a pre-trial day, and uh, the judge sat there, and the attorney general's office from Richmond was on the phone, and I sat in the judge's chambers, and we were saying how long it's going to take to have the matter heard in a trial. And I said, it's going to take me five minutes. And then they said, it's probably take them about a half an hour. So we were setting up the, uh, the, the docket. And then the judge realized who I was. I said, you don't remember who I am, do you? And he says, uh, I said, I'm the man who explained to you in court the difference between legal and lawful. And he's like, oh, i got to recuse myself from the case. I said, why? He says, I'm really good friends with the, the court clerk lady. She's been my uh, clerk for like 20 years. I said, she's a lovely lady. I'm sure she'd be a great neighbor. She seems to be a lovely woman. I said, but she still has to understand that she can't interfere with a man's right to access the court. I said, so you just stay right where you are, Judge. You're perfect. You know her like the back of your hand, and that, that's what a trial by jury means by your peers. I said, you know who she is. She knows who you are. That's her peer. She's your equal. I said, you're one of the best people to be able to judge her and tell her to her face in court that she did wrong. And then I said to the Attorney General in, in, in uh, Richmond, I said, do you have a problem with this judge uh, staying off? And the lady who's, she said, no, absolutely not. If you have no problem, I have no problem. But the judge is like, I'm out of here. He says, I want nothing to do with you. Because he knew I was going to win. Because it's that simple. Because he knows that I'm going to come at him as a man saying that a public servant <coughs> he would all right to access a public building. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, that would be one of the issues, and, and that that's in, I'm glad you explained that. Uh, but uh, another one would be uh, if, because it's going to be if I were to do it against, see, the first of all, I would go and explain to her where she made her errors and violated her oath, okay? Okay, how, big deal. Would, so, how, how, would, how would you explain to an expert how she made a mistake with her job? How would you explain to somebody who's a brain surgeon how they did brain surgery wrong? How would you, how would you, well, how would you, uh, that's what Carl Miller talks about, and I think he's right about that from coming from the direction that he comes, is that, is that the form that it is on is a fraudulent document because it doesn't meet the IRS as well as other lawful requirements that's to be that's the that's correct that's thing. Your, that is your belief. Okay, where is he? Okay, well, that's great because Carl Miller always bash him every time he gets on. Okay, what, what's funny about this, what, what's funny going about that, what makes you think that you have the capacity or you have the license? Thank God you're a psychiatrist. What makes you think you have a license? No, no, no. That was an error to begin with. I'm a psychologist. Okay, well, okay, whatever. I would, I would not want to be a psychiatrist. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is you're accredited. You have a license to a, a perform a certain oh, function not anymore. In, in society. Okay, you, you, you're known to create, you have a certain status and a certain role in society. So does that right. mean. How dare. Carl Miller try to interpret her code book, her rule book, and, and her forms with his little mega, you know, two cents worth of schooling education in her, uh, in her expertise, in her field. Who is he to say that it doesn't meet? Is he a code decipherer? Is he certified? Is he competent? Is he licensed? Is he bonded? Is he okay, I, I, I get that point uh, uh, from you, but the, and Grizzle would do it in the sense of, I got, uh, and searching and finding that there is no lien at all, so the notice of lien has been valid. That's all you have to say is that somebody filed a lien in error. What's so hard about that? That just proves your case. It's that simple. All you have to prove is you owe no debt to no man. You owe no. You certainly don't owe a debt to society. Okay, that's, that's what I wanted. To, uh, that's the line. That's the direction I wanted to have you going because I'm looking for that. That more that approach is more consistent with what would you what you would do because I think it'd be more effective. That's why yeah. I you know, well, well, question, well, but I had to give some background to it. Right, but like I said, if, if Carl Miller, like if you ever hear this guy, you ever talk to this guy ever again, he will tell you a million times that the Supreme Court of the United States does not create wealth. It just creates opinions on what they would do, and this is what I uh, see. Look, I talked to him. Oh, that's true. Uh, I know that. Okay, no, 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 well, let, let me just finish. There's a John Wilkinson, Jr. He's been in charge of the Alabama Supreme Court House down there since 1975. He is the head clerk, the top dog, the top head. He, let, let's put it this way. He's the president of the United States of Court Clerk Association. Can you believe there's even such a, a, an organization? Okay, and he actually teaches at a law school, and he explained to me the stupidity and the retardedness and, and the stupid idioc idiocy of going to a Supreme Court and getting a ruling. 
It's just because you're going to waste all your time getting all these rulings and say, yay, I won the Supreme Court, yay, I won on appeals, yay, I won. And what, if you read any of the United States Supreme Court rulings and, and the plaintiff, you know, wins, and what does the Supreme Court say to do? It says, take it back to take it back to the original court of jurisdiction. Yeah, and let then tell the judge, the original judge, that he made a mistake. So when the original judge, now you're going to reappear in front of this judge that you, you just whooped his ass in the United States Supreme Court or your state Supreme Court. You just whooped his ass and made him look like a monkey's ass. And now the ruling of the Supreme Court of the United States or the state Supreme Court is go back to the court of original jurisdiction and tell the judge he made a mistake. So you know what you're going to do? I call Nolan got a guy, or you got you got to walk in, start ha ha. It took me 12 years to beat you, but look, uh, I got a piece of paper that says that after the mistake. No, this is where I finished everybody else. And the uh, judge is going to say, the judge is going to say to you, I don't give a rat's effing effing damn what the United States Supreme Court ruled. On. I'm here. I'm sitting here right now. And I'm talking right now. Of course. Look, shrink, look, you got to let the Supreme Court is binding on another court. you got to let, you got to let everybody hear this. Okay? You know it. Because you're not going to talk about this. Go ahead, go ahead. Be, be, there's people who don't know this. Yeah, go just ahead. Because I'm they, sorry. Just because a Supreme Court, you won in the Supreme Court, I don't care what, what Supreme Court you won it. And it's, the ruling always says, take it back to the court of original jurisdiction, let the original court of original jurisdiction, let that judge know he made a mistake, that he is totally effing wrong, he's a complete moron, and that he's, he, he, I don't know how the hell he, he's uh, maintaining his seat on the bench. So go ahead and go tell our court judge that, that, that he's wrong. So then you're going to go there and go say, ha ha, judge, you're wrong, I'm right, ha ha, I proved it on the Supreme Court. What's he going to do? He's going to rule again against you. Okay? And that's, that's exactly what he's going to do to you. That's what I was told by the, the chief, like I said, Google John Wilkinson Jr. And, and find out in the Alabama Supreme Court that he works down there. He works at the, uh, the appellate level down there. He's the, he does the civil, civil division. He's been doing it since 1975. I tried it right out of the guy's mouth. He said, you're totally wasting time with appeal, Supreme Court rulings, all that other nonsense. You're wasting your time. Because the court of the original jurisdiction will just say, you know what, we don't care what the opinions are. We see who is in front of us now, and uh, this is how we're going to vote. 